Hey guys, it's John of Figurative Arc. We have another tutorial today looking at the VSDC free version of this video editor. And we're going to look at how to make text move and animate. So let's go ahead and get down to that. I'm going to go into Add Object and create a text. I'm going to have it start at the beginning of my scene. I am going to make that text appear for, let's say, eight seconds. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to drag this. I'm going to click on this to make it the same size as the screen. And now I'm going to have it appear in the middle of the screen. I've got these selections here. I do have a separate video for creating text. if you want me to go slower in terms of knowing how to add text. I do have a whole separate video on this. Okay, now I want this to move. Now right now if I go to add object, I cannot click on movement. So what I got to do is I got to make sure that this is selected on the timeline. So I'm just going to click on this tab that's the object tab. Now when I go back, there's movement. Okay, I'm going to start a new trajectory. I'm going to have it go to the end on the timeline. If I wanted to start, let's say, at the middle of the eight seconds, so let's say I wanted to start moving at four seconds, I could select these um, and effect when it started. But I'm just going to have it start for the whole time. I'm going to add a new trajectory. I'm going to pull that out. And whatever place you want it to go is where you drag it. When I preview that, there it goes. Got to make those little noises. Okay, now you may have noticed that you can change and start a new trajectory. However, that is not available. You'll notice in the lower right hand corner that a little pop up dialog. So to do this, to change the directory, that is not available in the free version. Okay, so see how it just moved? So you can certainly do this with one trajectory on the free version. However, if you want to add a new trajectory, just know that that's not available in the free version. So that's how to move things around. You can do that with any object that you wanted to. You could have uh, all kinds of things move around. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, please like if it is and consider subscribing to my channel. That helps the channel out a lot. If you have a question, you can always pose it on my channel. I'll do my best. Sometimes I don't know the answer and other people chime in, which has happened on my channel before when there was a question. And so that's kind of how the community works is uh, we put questions out there and if I can't answer them, a lot of times other people will see your comment and will chime in and just helping people with their projects and what they're trying to accomplish is um, with this editor. So check out my playlist again. I have grouped everything together, all my tutorials. Uh, my short films are also grouped together as well. So you can check those out. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you here sometime soon. Bye.